Hey guys, it's girl Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Now here is a first impressions I have really been looking forward to. I am finally going to be trying out Vetsy nail products and I've got their solid nail glue. I've got some solid gels. We're just going to play with everything and see what we think. And I am very curious to see how a beginner does with this solid nail glue. So if you want to hear my thoughts on these products and see me put together this very pretty, simple, abstractish kind of mani, then stick around. We're getting into it. All right, guys, so just a few housekeeping things to get out of the way. In case you are new here, I am not a nail professional. I am a DIY nail enthusiast. I love all things dip and gel, and I love trying out new things to help you find things that you might want to purchase to make beautiful nails at home. I also did want to state up front that Vetsy did send me some of these products. I have a few products that I purchased and then some that they did send to me. So they let me pick out five different colors and they also sent me their nail glue. So we're going to be trying out some of those products today. And of course, I will swatch all the colors that I did get. But as always, whether I purchase something or it is sent to me, you're always going to get my honest opinions. And you're going to see today is kind of a mixed bag, actually. So I'll get more into that as we go along. Whether you're new to DIY nails or you're an enthusiast like me, I would love it if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stick around. We do new videos twice a week and they're always dip or gel related. So we've got new collections at times. We've got how to's, we've got tutorials, we've got unboxings, we've got first impressions, all kinds of fun. So I would love it if you guys would stick around. All right, on to the good stuff. Let's take a look at everything that I got here. By the way, if you are curious about my current Manny, I did this Manny after applying the Unagella nail tips for the first time. So I will have a first impressions video coming for you. It'll be next Friday. So I don't actually demo this Manny in that video, but I did want to put something on after applying the tips. And I'm low key obsessed with this color palette. I just absolutely love mauvey pinks and I feel like the right ones are just so hard to find, dip or gel. But yeah, if you're wanting to hear my thoughts on these tips, I'll have the video coming next Friday. Either way, these babies have got to come off because as much as I love the shape and the length of these, unfortunately with my day job and it being pretty much 90% typing, I can't type with these. So these are going to have to come off. And so it's the perfect time to try out the nail glue to apply our shorter tips back on. All right, so we're going to take a look at the products that Betsy sent me first, and then I'll show you what I purchased in addition to that. So that came in this cute little box, and I've got five colors here, and then I have got the solid nail glue. So I'm going to take out the solid nail glue first and show it to you. So it comes in this little pot like this, and it really is solid. And I have seen some uh, advertisements for this, and I've heard a little bit of buzz about it. I'm very curious about this because I feel like this is one of those things like from a beginner's perspective that is either going to go really well or really poorly. So we're going to find out how this goes, but I'm very curious to try it because it looks like it might be great for somebody who's struggling with kind of getting their nail tips straight or getting them applied perfectly because this gives you a lot more working time because it kind of sits on the nail instead of oozing out. And then I went in and popped out the five solid gel polishes and I've got the instructions here as well. So that's nice to see a good instruction card included because depending on the brand, sometimes these instructions will vary. So I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what I need to do with these. So I was kind of laughing when I unboxed these colors because clearly I was all over the place. I couldn't decide guys. There were so many beautiful colors. I just picked a little bit of everything. It's kind of a random assortment. But uh, here's the first one I got here and I just want to kind of show you how the component works. So these are not in a palette. These are in little individual jars and they come in these cute little boxes. I'm loving the packaging. And then on the top you have the name as well as the number and kind of like a similar coordinating color swatch there on the top. So these come very securely sealed with this kind of um, foil top that's actually like glued onto it. So it's actually, it's easy to get off, but I'm just saying I love how secure this is because that way you don't have to worry about your polish spilling out no matter what the elements are when it's in the mailbox. So I'm sure you can kind of see how random I was with these colors when I picked them out. It was too hard, guys. There were so many beautiful colors on their site and I just, I didn't know what to do. So I just picked five and I'm like hoping for the best here, but... Of course, I needed more. So as you can see here, I did purchase three, a set of three additional polishes. And uh, you guys may not know this about me yet, but I have a new addiction to nude jelly gels. Mostly because I like to do like kind of negative space designs or I want to do more French style designs. Not traditional French, but like design French. 
and it's nice to have some really good like nudes that are jelly that just kind of give like a little wash of color and make a really good base for that so I picked up a few of their sheer gels. So I've got a couple of nudish colors and then I've got a milky white. So I picked those up as well. Now, one thing I wanna mention up front is that they do have a website and then of course they also sell some of their products on Amazon. So this little set here I purchased from Amazon and they sent me the five additional polishes and that happened about the same day. And I wanna let you know that it took about three weeks to get these products. So I believe that's because they're coming from overseas and customs and all that. But I think that's important to be aware of up front that if you're in a rush to get some gels, whether you purchase them on Amazon or the other site, they're not gonna get there super fast. Anyway, so with my little kid here, I got these little swatch dots and I think are super adorable. These little hearts, you can kind of like use a sticky to stick them on the top and actually do your swatch on these, which I'm definitely somebody who needs them on a swatch stick because I try to keep my collection organized, but I have to admit these are pretty darn cute. All right, guys, I'm gonna go remove these nails and get them prepped to put my medium stilettos back on so that we can try out this nail glue and then we'll get to the swatches after we do that. All right, so I am back. I have got my little nubbies all prepped. They're so short. My little nail beds are so short. And I thought I had some rubber gloves, which I was gonna use to play with this nail glue, but I forgot that I was out. And then I remembered I had these silly little finger condoms, which I feel absolutely ridiculous in. But I wanted to have my fingers kind of protected by something so that I didn't touch this nail glue with my hands and get my skin oils all over it so you're just gonna have to bear with the ridiculousness of it for a little bit so from what i read there are a couple ways to apply this you can scoop some of this up with the tip and apply it directly that way or you can kind of pick some up with your gloved hand and kind of roll it into a ball and put it onto your finger so that's kind of what i was trying to do is figuring out how i wanted to do it and there's definitely a learning curve here so what happened was I felt like the more I messed with it and tried to roll it into a ball, the more sticky it got, I guess probably from the warmth of my hands, and then it got a little bit difficult to work with. So really what I would suggest, if you're going to pick this up and put this into a little ball, try to work with it as little as possible because the more you mess with it, the stickier it's gonna end up getting. And I kind of figured that out as I went. This is such an interesting texture. It's kind of firm, but at the same time, like I said, the more you mess with it, the stickier it gets. So mess with it as little as possible and then so I finally kind of got the hang of it and put the dot on my finger so here's the thing it's really not going to be something you're going to pick up the first go it's kind of hard to gauge how much of the product that you need to pick up and so on this first nail I picked up way too much and you can see it just kind of oozed out on the sides and the cuticle area and then quite a bit on the back here so it's kind of one of those things where it's hard to figure out how much you need because it's in solid form. So as far as like getting it on the first try, I would be very surprised if you did that. So I tried a couple of tools to kind of remove the excess. I tried to pick some of it off with this picker part of my cuticle tool. And then I tried an alcohol cleanup brush, but because this is so sticky, it doesn't come off that easily once it actually oozes out. So if you put too much product and this happens, Probably your best bet is just to take it off and wipe everything down with alcohol and start it over. So I finally got it cleaned up to a point where I felt like it was going to be good enough and so I pressed back down and put in my flash cure lamp. Now you do still need to hold this down while you're flash curing it because it can still kind of lift slightly off the nail and bubble up. It's not completely like smacked down to the nail. You really have to kind of still help it to get adhered. So you can see the first nail done here and there's no bubbles, but you can see it got a bit messy around the edge and definitely around the back. And so I ended up having to do a bit more cleanup than normal once the nails were finished, which I'll get to here in a little bit. But it's just not as easy to like, you know how you have your gel and you, you take your cleanup brush and wipe it off the back before you finish curing it. Well, because this is so sticky, that actually wasn't that easy to do here. So that's just something to keep in mind. So let me go ahead and give you my first impressions while I finish up this hand. I think that this will be valuable for somebody who really is struggling to get their nail tips on straight because you really can actually get it there and then pull it back and look at it from different angles and make sure you like the way it's laying before you actually cure it. But I'm not sure I would say this is actually beginner friendly. Sorry for flipping you off. <laughs> It's not that I would say it's not for beginners. I just think there's a learning curve there. You cannot get this product and just expect to knock it out of the park on the first go. It's gonna take a little bit of practice, especially if you're already familiar with traditional types of nail gels or nail glue. This is very different from that. So, you know, I struggled, I think mostly 
with not only getting it to go all the way to the cuticles but to the sidewalls as well and no matter how I kind of smashed it down on the nail and tried to help it get there I still had to do a little bit of manipulation with the nail to actually get it to spread to all the right parts without oozing out so yeah I, I just think there's a learning curve here I guess is what I'm saying I don't think it is something that you're going to be able to get and just knock it out of the park on the first try I think you're going to have to practice a little bit with this product I definitely don't think it's a bad product. I definitely think it has its values. And like I said, particularly for somebody who always ends up with crooked nails, I think you're gonna really get along with this once you get the hang of it. But as far as it goes for me, I'm not sure it's gonna end up being a go-to product for me because I have been doing um, gel tips now for maybe, I don't know, six months. And I've really gotten comfortable with the traditional style of nail glues. So I don't know that this is gonna be a go-to product for me for application. But I am curious to see some of the other applications for it and try those out, like as far as jewelry application, or I think you can actually do some sculpting with it. So I don't know, I'll keep playing with it. I'll update you as far as like just nail application. I'm just saying, if you wanna try this, I don't think it's a bad product. I just think you're gonna have to practice with it. You're not gonna get it right, right out of the gate. So we got there at the end. Uh, it took a little bit longer for, because I was working with this product for the first time. So I kind of had to get acclimated to it and I'm still not really sure I 100% got it down. And I'm definitely not as happy with the finished nails, mostly because I couldn't do the cleanup I like to do as I go because it was so sticky. So I had to kind of file it off after I had finished curing everything. So, you know, we got there in the end, but, uh, but it definitely was not smooth sailing. So I kind of thought this was going to be the answer to all my gel tip application dreams, but so far in first impressions, it's not there yet. I'll keep playing with it and let you guys know. It may be one of those things that the more I mess with it, the more I get comfortable with it, the more I will like it. I'm just still on first impressions. I'm a little on the fence about it. All right, I'm going to go clean these up and get my other hand applied, and then we will be back to play with the gel polishes. All right guys, so I'm back in the nails, got all cleaned up, and I'm gonna let you know right now, I did have a couple of cuticle casualties. That's not usual for me. I'm definitely not new to e-files. I feel like I'm pretty comfortable and experienced with them, but unfortunately I had so much cleanup to do around the cuticle and side walls because I couldn't get it off easily because it was so sticky during that flash curing phase. So klutzy me, the more I go over something, eventually it's kind of just gonna happen. I'm probably gonna catch the edge of my cuticle. And so we did have a couple of those little casualties. They're very minor but I apologize if you see them there it is what it is it can't be undone but yeah I think that's just like I said getting accustomed to using this new type of nail glue and I think again with more practice that will happen less but I'll have to keep you posted all right so I'm hoping to have a little bit better success with these solid gels so I did want to show you that with this neutral set that I got on the top I also got this really nice little gel brush which honestly, like sometimes the brushes you get with products are pretty cruddy, but this one is actually really, really nice. And I'm gonna tell you right now during the application process, I absolutely fell in love with this brush. I would buy more of just this brush. I think it's pretty good quality considering it's something that just kind of came in the kit. So typically with solid cream gels, what I like to do is have a little palette nearby with a little bit of gel base on it, which I don't have there as guys I'm using another brands here, but I'm just putting a little bit down on this palette because typically what I like to do is kind of dampen my brush just a little bit with the gel base. I just find that it really helps the cream gels to go on more smoothly and without streaks. So that's what I'm doing here just getting set up for that, assuming that I'm going to need that same thing with these products. So I'm going to quickly breeze through the swatches here. I'm going to show you a bit of the application onto the swatch stick because I think that is helpful if you're considering purchasing these just to see how workable they are and then we will get into the Manny. I want to be daring baby dance the night away I let my head down if I want to just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better so much better Shoes up if 
if I want Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better All right, so these are the three colors I picked up for today's Manny. So on the left, we have New Wave. In the middle is Glazy, which we're going to use as the base for the design. And then on the right, we have Illusion. Now, I really, really wanted to play with Mad About You, that burgundy wine color. It's so stunning. That color is going to have to happen very soon. But I wanted to make sure to get in as many colors as possible so you could kind of get a full first impressions. So that's why we went with these three. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly slap on a gel base coat here under these nails. Now they do sell a gel base of their own. It does come in a pot. They did not send that to me, so I'm using another brand here, but I'm very curious to try those because after my experience with the gel polishes, I'm very curious to see how that will go as a base coat. So I might have to pick that up and try it at some point. All right, gel base coat is done and cured. So now I'm gonna start with this glazy color and that's that kind of milky, almost like a mauvey pink which I think will make a really good base for the design because I'm gonna do like a negative space kind of design here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put two layers of this on the middle finger and then we'll start adding in the color to it as we go. But um, this one, I feel like the sheer polishes have a slightly different texture than the solid cream colors. So I don't know if that's like just in my head or if that's reality, but keep in mind that these are designed to be sheer. So you're not gonna go for opacity with these. These are really designed to give that wash of color which like I said, I think makes a really good base for the French design. All right, so that was one coat done and cured. They do say to cure for 60 seconds. They don't really give an explanation as far as the like strength of the lamp. So I don't know if it could be faster than that, but I just went by the instructions and did 60 seconds. All right, so that was two coats of glazy, and I know I went through that really quickly, but I feel like it's so sheer, it's really hard to see the application on the nail. So I wanted to get onto the more solid colors. So let me talk to you a little bit about the formula of this gel because I feel like it's a little bit different than some of the other solid cream gels I have tried. This seems to me to be a little bit less firm in texture, which don't get me wrong, it definitely is a solid cream gel, but it's just a little bit less firm. It's a lot more pudding-like. When they say the word pudding gel, this is more the texture that I would think of. And because of that, I'm sure you can see just on this first layer here, it smooths out and levels out so fast. I mean, pretty much as soon as you put it on the nail with very little effort. Now, typically you really have to go back in and find that balance with adding the gel base coat to your gel brush before you pick up the gel in order to get it to do that. Not with this. Actually, I found myself as I went along, I hardly ever used that gel base at all to help smooth it out because this just did the work for me. I also found that it really builds up on itself very easily. Now I haven't even finished the first coat and I saw that I kind of had some patchy spots. So I just picked up some more to see if I could add a little bit more to get more opacity on that first coat. And it totally built up on itself very easily. I didn't find it really picking up what was already there before curing it. 
Now I want to give you my first impressions on these gels, but I want to lead with something first and forgive me, I'm going to get off on a bit of a tangent here, but I know there's this idea sometimes that influencers are really kind of people who push product and try to get people to buy things and they really kind of push that purchase culture and I just want to say that that is not ever what I'm trying to do on this channel. So if I ever come across that way, I apologize because that is definitely not my intention. What I'm really trying to do is I like to try as many things as possible so you can kind of see, you know, what are the good things, what are the bad things, what kind of people might like this product and so on and so forth. So I don't get anything by trying to sell you products. I don't really have any affiliations. I don't make money off of videos at the moment except for what I make on ad revenue from um, YouTube. And then of course I do have some affiliate links through Amazon. But other than that, like I don't get anything when you buy this. I have no desire to have you purchase something just for my benefit. I want you to purchase something if you think you're gonna like it and that's what I'm trying to do here. So sorry for that tangent there for a minute. I don't feel like anybody's ever implied that but I feel like I just need to say that because I know I get really excited sometimes about products and I make some very strong statements but I'm just not somebody who's really good at hiding her emotions. So when I tell you I really love something it's because I really do and I hope you guys know that. So if you ever feel like I'm trying to push product that is definitely not my intention. I'm sure you probably guessed where this is going. Uh, I'm gonna not say the strong statement I wanna say just because this is a first impressions, but I do believe that over time, this may end up being my favorite gel polish formula I have ever used, ever, ever, ever. And I've been doing gel polish for maybe, I don't know, 10 years off and on. So I've tried a lot of formulas from the good to the bad. And to me, this might be the most perfect formulation. And the reason I say that is because it's the best of both worlds. It's the control of a solid cream gel polish and the pigmentation of a solid polish, but it's got the workability and the easy self leveling of a regular gel polish. I mean, it's just completely effortless. I can't remember the last time I have had this perfect of a cuticle line <laughs> with gel polish because you know it, it can be hard to control you know especially if you're doing your non-dominant hand but I'm telling you this formula is just gorgeous it's so gorgeous it's so effortless I'm definitely gonna have to pick up some more of these not because I need more gel polish I need more gel polish like I need a hole in my head but imagine this formula with a black or with an opaque white like oh Beautiful, so beautiful. Now, these solid colors, I did end up using two coats and you can see the opacity is perfect. And I'm sure you can tell that I'm just not putting very much effort into getting this self level. I even stopped really kind of picking up the um, base coat on my brush because it just didn't need it. I'm just, the texture of this is so, so beautiful. I think all of the colors I picked are beautiful and I think they'll work really well for me. The only one I'm a little on the fence about is the Milky White. Just like most Milky Whites I get, I feel like it went a little off-white after curing. And I know some people say that's your gel base coat or gel top coat and I would buy into that except for I've used opaque whites and they don't yellow. So I just think there must be some difficulty in formulating Milky Whites when it comes to gel polish. But the rest of the colors I think are absolutely beautiful and performed on the swatch sticks just as well. So I think they'll be great. Now I know the um, price of these is a little bit higher than typical. So I would say if you want to try these, maybe pick out a solid color or two that you really think would be really good for you or like a staple color and start there and see what you think. And then you can always purchase more later, but yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to buy some more of these. These are just too good. So you can see I'm finishing up here with a gel top coat, which again, I don't have there, so I'm using my own, but that Manny came together so fast, so fast, so clean, so beautiful. The colors are stunning. All right, guys, so here's the finished look, and I do wanna wrap up my thoughts on all these products, but first we gotta rehydrate those cuticles, especially because they took a beating after cleaning up that uh, solid nail glue. So I'm going in with a new product here from Scales of a Mermaid, which is launching tonight if you're watching the video the day it goes live, and this one is called Golden, and this is a perfect limited edition cuticle oil to close out the summer. It's a pineapple margarita inspired scent, but it does have a bit of woodsy and um, amber undertones so it's so good so good it's one of my favorites that she's put out this summer it's a beautiful beautiful scent so I said it before and I'll say it again if you want her limited edition products you gotta get there at launch so that will be today the video this goes live on the 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern by the way, if you haven't seen, she's launching this adorable mini lotion bottle tonight too. I gotta pick me up an extra one of those because the scent is incredible and of course the formula is great, but the little tiny bottle is just killing me. It's just way too cute. 
all right let me wrap up my final thoughts on these products so i think you can see that i felt very mixed emotions about the solid nail glue i'll have to get back to you on that i'm sorry for an incomplete first impressions here it's just kind of one of those things where i'm just not really sold on it yet but i think it could be good i just need to kind of play with it a little more and decide how i feel about it but as far as these gel polishes go i'm so happy to see that that was a complete 180 from my experience with the solid glue this polish formula oh chef's kiss chef's kiss you can expect to see that matte about manny very soon and i may have to make it matte because that color is just screaming fall to me and i am so here for it so i want to thank betsy for giving me a chance to try out these products i really did appreciate the opportunity to give them a go although maybe not so much thanks because i know i'm about to make my wallet cry a little bit by buying more of these gel polishes but they're just that good i am not sorry about it at all I really have got to try the black and the white especially just because I would love to have a nice good solid black solid white that was that easy to use I'll have to let you know how that goes for me once I finally get those I probably went a little bit overboard with my excitement but at least you know my true feelings so I hope I addressed everything that you had questions on but if you have any further questions of course always drop them in the comments down below and if you have tried any of these gel polishes or that solid nail glue I would love to hear your experiences it's so great when we get in the comments and kind of share our experiences with each other once again, I rambled on a little too long in this video, guys. I'm sorry. I will work on making these videos shorter, but I do appreciate you being here and taking time out of your day to spend it with me. It means so much. I hope you did enjoy this video and found it helpful. If you did, it would help me out so much if you would give me a thumbs up down below. And while you're there, if you've not subscribed already, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. And don't forget that notification bell. We got new content coming every Tuesday and Friday at 2 p.m. Central. So as always, guys, thank you again for being here. I love you to pieces. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Did you get her? Sort of. <laughs>